Hi guys, Mirga Emanuel here at the final day of the Energy Summit 2025. I'm here at the Solis booth again because the engineer, the overall engineer in Africa is available, he's on <laughs> ground. And I want him to give us some hints, tell us some feature of this 125 kilowatt hybrid inverter from Solis. Like I said in my uh, previous video, this is for CNI. And a lot of people are still doubting whether this guy will work well for CNI or not. So let's hear from the engineer himself. Yeah, Mr. Alex. All right, all right. My name is Ukwachi Alexander, Solis Service Manager for Africa. Um, so today we'll be talking about the big boy right over here. This is the 125 kilowatt high voltage hybrid wall mount. This is the biggest in the whole world and you can get this anywhere right now. So first I would like to tell you about the, the dual battery port. First, it's, um, it's similar with um, the Solis high voltage inverters. So we have two battery ports here. You can connect two different battery banks to this high yeah, voltage. Before you proceed further, I have a lot of people asking questions that if we connect two different brands of battery, Will this inverter be able to communicate with those batteries? Now, the inverter has two independent BMS, so it makes it very easy for you. Independent BMS, so they communicate independently. So what you are saying now, if I buy, uh, if I buy BOID for port one, I can buy Tesla for port two. You can buy Pylon Tech for port two. You, you guys are here. Two different brands. Because yeah. I had a lot of you, you know, doubting that it's not possible because most of you know Solis, it doesn't come with double BMS. Now you've had it from the engineer himself. Yeah, you can go ahead. Sir. And why why it is very possible is because of the dual BMS. If it was a single BMS, that's when we we, we start this, the argument will even exist. But it's in the two independent BMS. So let's go ahead, please. As you can see also, um, we have um, 10 MPPTs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 MPPTs, 20 strings input. Please wow. do that again. We have 10 MPPTs, 20 strings, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 MPPT with 20 strings input with a maximum PV DC of um, 1,000 volts. That's huge. Good. So you see the flexibility for PV is just wow. It is 200% DC AC ratio. What it means is if I have an 80 kilowatt watt of this machine, I can connect up to 160 kilowatt watt of PV peak. You understand? So to 125 kilowatt, you can connect what of 250 PV peak. Now let's come again. Let me tell you something else. Is this a cooling system? No, 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 no. That's not a cooling system. What's this? So if you look here, you see this is the backup port. Yeah. The backup port is the primary output of this machine. So the normal AC output, that is it here. When you unbox this place, you have two ports. It's called the gen port and um, a grid port. So the grid port is your AC input to either take power from the grid or export power to the grid. But of course, you know, we don't export power here in Nigeria. So you just import power. And we also have the gen port that serves three different purposes. You can use it for the generator. You can automatically put on or put off your generator at a particular SOC of your battery. So it simply means that when your battery gets to a particular SOC, this machine can automatically put it off. And does it have smart uh, ports where I can decide to control my load? Maybe I have a specific load I want to run for like 14 hours a day. So that if my battery reaches like 80% or maybe 50% during the night hours, that, that those loads will go off. But All right. Such feature. This, 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 this future you're talking about is not just for this. Even the 50 kilowatt has the same function. The, two, the 40 kilowatt, the 30 kilowatt has the same function. So the gen ports can serve three different purposes. The gen port can serve as an AC coupled port. The gen port can also serve as a non-critical load port. What it means is if I, I can decide to connect just maybe my lighting in, uh, the TVs, the or the, just, just the, non, the, the, the critical loads to the back of port. Okay. Then the non-critical load that I do not want to keep running when I have a low SOC to cut off, I connect it to the smart port. So it is um, very simple. Now, I can what else are you looking for in an inverter? Because most of you are still doubting. No, I cannot buy transformerless. I still want transformer-based inverter. This is a 125 kilowatt transformerless hybrid inverter for CNI, not for your just household installation. And this guy can be paralleled up to six units in parallel. That is what you see on the data sheet. But you can do up to 10 in parallel. But for you to do up to 10 in parallel, there is a Solis, like a combiner box you need. 
to combine it. Yes, to combine it up to ten. So that that ten in that ten more than a megawatt. Is, uh, how many megawatts? That's around uh, maybe one point three, one point four megawatts. Wow. Yeah, about. Anyway, that's good. Thank you for giving us this insight <laughs> about this beast. I don't call this just machine or an inverter. This is a beast in one hundred and twenty-five kilowatts, and you've had a lot of things this inverter can do. So if you are still thinking about transformer-based inverter, this guy should change your mindset.